Hello, welcome to my kitchen. It's Lydia. Um, today I have my granddaughter with me. Hi. Madeline Ruth. We call her Maddie, right, Maddie? Yeah. She likes to go by Maddie. Um, so, we're going to make a couple things today. So, the first thing we're going to start out making is a dough for? Pretzels. Soft pretzels. Yeah, soft pretzels. And Maddie's going to, Maddie has a um, lunch that we've made a few times that she just loves. So she's going to show you how to make that as well. So, but first we're going to do the dough for our pretzels. Okay, so we have here a cup and a half of warm water and then you're going to put this, just kind of sprinkle it on top. This is uh, in either, the water? Yeah, in the water. So this is yeast. Um, you can go ahead and do it. And it's one, it's two and a, two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, or you can use one packet of yeast. And then this is a tablespoon of butter and one tablespoon of brown sugar. So that is what gives it kind of the flavor of pretzel. <clears throat> I'm gonna melt it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you stir this a little bit. Stir. Isn't that the coolest one? Wait, use this sound. It's just easier. Yeah, so stir that up. So all we're doing is activating the yeast. That's why you want to use warm water. You don't want to use hot water. You only want to use warm water. Um, oh, hot water could kill the yeast. And the sugar is what's going to feed the yeast. So, this is good. It's like in It's the just tap it, tap it. Keep tapping till it comes out. And then go like this. Mm, it is getting stuck in there. Okay, pour that in. That's the melted butter and one um, tablespoon of, of sugar. Sorry, we can get a spatula. We have a hole in our spatula. <laughs> so our yeast got it stuck in there, but we'll get it out. Oh, there you go. There's still... It's okay, we're going to get a um, spatula. So, spatula. Wait, this one might be easier. Yeah, so we want to get all of it out, so go ahead and use a spatula, pour it in there. So this is really it, except for the flour. This is salt. This I actually bought this a while ago. It's pretzel salt. You can put it, sprinkle it on the top when you're going to bake them. So I don't know if everybody knows this, but <clears throat> when you're making pretzels, you also want it to give it that pretzel-y flavor. We do a baking soda bath. You can put it in the sink. Um, so, Maddie, this is hot water, but you can go ahead and pour in half a cup of baking soda. But this is only going to be done after we let this dough rest for a little bit. Go ahead. Just be careful. It, yeah. Kind of bubbles up a little bit. So that's half a cup of baking soda. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Or let's just turn it down to low, just so we have hot water when we need it. Okay, now... <coughs> Let's stir this up a little bit more. Stir that again. And now, everything's in here. That's everything we need except for the flour. Oh wait, I do need one more thing. We need half a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna get that. Maddie, what grade are you in again? Uh, four. I did know that. I just thought I'd act like I didn't. Okay. So we're putting some salt in there. Stir it up. And then we're gonna add, this, this is one, the same thing when you're doing bread, you're gonna kind of guesstimate. So go ahead and pour that in. Put the liquid in first, so then you don't have your flour what sticking to the bottom. Pour in. Okay. So that is your recipe for pretzel, and then you're just going to add some flour. And um, <clears throat> just like I started saying, just like making bread, you kind of, yes, it calls for three to four cups of flour, but you kind of are going to feel when it feels right, just like with bread dough. Yeah. So I'm going to rinse this up, and you can go ahead and stir. 
stir that up. And we're gonna add, so we have two cups in there. How's it feeling? Pretty liquidy? Mm. Getting kind of like a yeah. pancake batter? Yeah. So two cups is about a pancake batter. So we're gonna add another cup. It's spring vacation, so the kids are off school. It's nice to have my granddaughter with me today. She slept over last night and we watched the movie. What did we watch? Uh, Secret Life of Pets 2. Secret Life of Pets 2. Okay, so now we're like two and a half cups. And it is harder to do. You're going to transfer. T I'm going to use my hands first, okay? Okay. And then... Um, we both washed our hands, of course. She's getting all the sides. Oh, you're doing a good job. So I'm gonna, let's transfer to using hands. So this is three cups, and then we'll just decide if we need to have four cups. Okay. Okay, so now this is gonna rest for a little bit. Um, yeah, this is a super soft dough. So it's different from, it, it's it's like a bread dough, but it's a little bit lighter, I'd say. And I think um, you actually could make a pretzel bread out of this if you wanted to. What would oh, give it, cool. yeah, you could make a whole dough, but we're going to try to shape them into pretzels. We'll see how we do. Okay, so when your hand gets like this, this is what I do. Take a little bit of flour and then just put it over it and then it's easier to get it off. So this needs to sit for about 10 minutes, which is nice. So if you want to make this with kids, it's pretty instant that you get to um, bake it, bake it and eat them. Boil, bake, and eat. Because we're going to boil these just like they do in the movies when people make real pretzels. <laughs> we're making real pretzels. Okay, this is still kind of sticky, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. Again, you're going to just have to play with it, see what you think. Um, if you think it needs, see now you can see that it's grabbing out all the flour that I put in and I, I don't think I would add any more flour at this point. So that was almost, how many was that? Was that like four? So that was, this one was three? Okay. So yeah, it did pretty good. And then as it sits, sometimes it gets a little bit sticky. So we might have to add a little bit more. Plus when you go to roll them out, you'll add more. So 10 minutes here. I'm going to okay. get some of this off my hands right here. Um, Maddie, what's your favorite subject in school? Uh, reading. Yeah, you love to read. It's so nice. She does spend a considerable amount of time on electronics, but she also reads, so that's good. Okay. Um, now, Maddie, we're going to go ahead and make your what did we decide to call it? Oh yeah, a refried burrito? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and show how Maddie does that. It's a fast, simple lunch. Oh, I guess I'll leave that out. Okay. So go ahead, Maddie. You can talk about what you got there. Some variations. So, um, you could do, I have flour tortilla. But you could use like cauliflower tortilla or spinach tortilla. Which are here. Yeah. Everybody knows these in Min Myers. Yeah. So just depends on what your body can take, right? Yeah. Okay, so we need to do what to this pan? Um, spray it with uh, olive oil. Yeah, just gonna spray it a little bit. Doesn't need much. Mm -mm. You know what I just thought of though? Is that going to fit in there? <laughs> we might have to use the yeah. bigger one. Yeah, let's use the bigger one. Okay. So I, when I put my cast irons away, I always oil them. Yeah. Otherwise they get rusty. So, yeah, I use, you can use any, anything. You can spray it, you can use, um, pour on a little bit of oil, and then I just wipe it all out. But this one's very oiled, so I'm not going to use much. What are we going to use for the beans? Like We're going to, so the first well, thing. I you, know, the huh? bowl. Talk that way. What bowl? Oh, yeah, I'll get a bowl. Yeah. Okay, so okay. first we're going to, so 
the other thing that we wanted to talk about is we're going to use these pinto beans. However, you could make, take dried pinto beans, cook them, soak them overnight, then the next uh -huh. day you kind of like cook them. We've done that and it, they really are delicious that way. Or you could use black beans, whatever beans you like. So what you're going to do is rinse them. People don't always rinse, but we're going to rinse these this time. And then just, um, and then I'll get your bowl. Oh, the other thing you can do, of course, is buy refried beans. But we just always do it this way. Just buy pinto beans and then she's going to mash them. Just more fun for kids, too. Okay, just make sure the water's out. And then the other thing um, is, you, actually, you can leave the water in because sometimes we add water, a little bit of water for to make it a little bit um, more smooth and creamy. So go ahead and mash. Um, Got to use your muscles. Seems like it'd be easy to mash them, but they are kind of tough. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's okay. We don't care. Well. <laughs> Cut. Okay, hold on. I got to go to the basement. <laughs> I used to do that. Okay, never mind. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are going to mash these up. I should have known that would happen, actually. Okay, keep trying. Okay. No one saw anything, right? Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh. Just take your time. Um, okay, remember our warm water we had? What happened to my warm water? Oh. We're going to add oh a little bit of that to this, and it will make it a little bit creamier, and not, and it won't do that so easily. Okay, so in this little container, we have, do you remember? Garlic powder. Um, did we have salt in it? Yeah. Salt and a little bit of sugar. Oh yeah, I put a little bit of monk fruit sugar in there. Just to make it a little bit sweet. So you could add whatever you want. This is um, what we used, but you could absolutely add chili powder or um, uh, what? jalapenos, yeah. Uh, the other thing we talked about is, so Maddie's just gonna make bean and cheese, but um, we talked about adding like sauteing onions and peppers and whatever you want. Okay, that's good. You're good. It's okay, you can throw that in the sink. Take that, that, okay. So this is what makes it a little bit special. After she gets this in, we'll show you. We'll show you the fold. Springtime? Yeah. Yeah, she likes to swim in Bubby's Lake. Get ready to go out the boat? Yeah. Yeah, we actually already had a maiden voyage, but you weren't here. Yeah, I, I, Elle told me. Yeah, we took the boat. I, the whole time Elle is saying, I'm not going to drown, I'm not going to drown. I'm not really? Gonna, I made them all put on life jackets. They had their winter coats on with life jackets, but it was a beautiful thing. Mm. Don't spit in it. I didn't spit in it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's probably enough. Put some cheese on. And then sometimes with a tortilla, they're, this one's very pliable, but sometimes they're not very pliable. If you stick them in the microwave for a second, you'll be able to um, bend it up a little easier. So that's what we're going to do now. We sprayed our pan. And then this is what makes it so Yummy is when you toast it. Turn it up a little bit. And then, and then Maddie don't likes, huh? What? I don't know. She likes, what do you like on it? What do you um, like on it? I like lettuce, um, salsa, sour cream, and tomatoes. Yeah. Sometimes not tomatoes. Yeah, so we can put on, you can put on um, sun dried tomatoes if you want to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's yummy. I'm gonna make sun-dried tomatoes this summer. After when I grow all these tomatoes, which we do every summer, we don't eat a whole lot of tomatoes. Kind of acidic for my body, so I don't eat a lot of them. But sun-dried tomatoes are so amazing. 
just looked up a recipe and we're gonna make those. Maybe you'll help me. Sure. Okay, we will be back in two minutes for the finished product of the burrito. And then we're gonna roll some pretzels. We'll be back in a minute. Thank you. Welcome back, Maddie's burrito, refried burrito. Is that yeah. What you said? Refried yeah. burrito. We named it. Is done. Look at that. So it was like two minutes on each side, and I think the oil is what um, will get it brown. You could yeah. also you could also use butter, of course. Uh huh. Okay. So now go ahead and put some salsa on. I got. I didn't know if I should get mild or or medium for you, so I just got the mild. I like both of them. I it's like it's a lot of salsa, but it's good for you. I like spicy things. I know you do more than your bubby. More than me. Well, you can have them because it kind of like, Plus I don't like them. hurts what your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now what else? Um, sour cream. Okay. Got a little bit of that. Okay. Put some of that on. Don't touch it. Don't touch the salsa. Oh my. I mean, if you're gonna go back in. And then what's what else? Um, lettuce. Okay. Put it on there. Put all of it on. It's good for you. I know. I like it. She likes it. She likes it. Okay. And then cut it up. See how it tastes. Okay. Just do a small piece, you know? Yeah. Just so you don't. And then we're going to figure out our um, the rest of our pretzel stuff. Oh, that's a big bite. You got it, though. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Delicious, she's saying. I can read her mind now. Yeah, that does look so good. So this is a great vegetarian meal, just saying. Um, dinner, lunch, whatever. You probably could add meat to it if you wanted. Oh yeah, absolutely. You could throw in chicken or steak. Okay, I'm just gonna move it over here for now and wipe this up. So now, this is gonna be very candid. Show, yeah. We are going to make <coughs> our um, pretzels. We're gonna roll them out. So I made pretzels for Super Bowl Sunday, and I didn't feel like making them into pretzels, so I just made them, I did like logs, and then just cut them up in pieces, and we threw them in the oven, they were so good. Yeah. And her mom made my, some too. Yeah, my mom made them on the Super Bowl too. Yeah, I know, we both, we, we figured that out at the, she, when she put them, I go, I made those too, when she put it on Facebook. Okay, so I was gonna show you this too. Our water is boiling, because we are gonna drop them in there for a minute to get the baking soda bath. So this is a scale. This is a, um, a scale. So what you, if you, let's just say you wanted to weigh this. Hold on, let me get a little bit of flour on here. Wait, am I getting, yeah, I am. Yeah. So I'm make sure I'm getting the right one. Okay, so if you wanted to weigh whatever you had and you wanted to wait in this bowl, like let's say I want to get some water and wait, put it on there, and then you hit this button, and it brings it to zero. So that means that your bowl will not be weighed. You have to push it, oh. and then it's zero, well, and then you'd find out how much that weighs without the bowl. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is not use the bowl. We are gonna do this. I'm gonna take this like this, and we're going to Cut it in half. We'll cut it in half. This is about even-ish. Sorry, big knife. Cut it right in half. Okay, go ahead, all the way down. You won't hurt the counter. 
Okay, then cut, now cut this one in half. Why are you doing this? We are going to measure and see so that we get each piece of our pretzel equal. I'll do that one in half. Okay. Good. Okay, so now we have four pieces and we're going to cut those in half. Let's get some flour down. Uh, what? Cut that in half? So this is the type of thing, again, with bread, you just kind of feel the consistency. It was a little bit sticky, this is going to make it perfect. Okay, cut that one in half. I feel like we're going to probably cut them even more so. You'll have some to bring back to the, to the peoples, the starving people at OCTV. Okay. And then that. Oh, I feel like this is gotta. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do an experiment now. Do that one too. All right, now we're gonna start weighing them. So now it's on zero. Do that one. This one. How many pretzels are we getting, Maddie? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to wait. So we want to try to make these so that they're fairly equal. I think this one. Do it again. I might have screwed that up, but it's okay. <clears throat> so here's one. What does it weigh? Um, Just 117. Okay, yeah, 117. Okay, so now that one looks... <laughs> this looks like a lot less. Yes, <sighs> it is. Okay. It's okay, let's do them together. Let's see what it is together. 121. Mm -hmm. So the, does it 98. have to be? 98. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but if you want them all to be the same size, this is what you would use. Yeah. 84. Okay, now we're going to show you how to roll a pretzel. Because I, I don't remember. So this is an experiment. Again, you could just cut these into pieces. Boil them, put them on a cookie sheet, put pretzel salt on them, and then you will have pretzels that way too. Okay, so take a piece. This one's kind of small. I just wanted to show you that you could make them more uniform. Ours are probably not going to be exact. Okay, now make it into a line like this. This one's small, Bobby. Yeah. Don't use the small one. Use that one. We're just trying to show the peoples. Okay, so now, Daisy. <laughs> Shh. Pretzel. Okay, what did you do? I don't know. Oh, Michelle, show us one. Four. Okay, it's hold on. Yeah, it's, it's, um, hi. Wait, what did you do? I don't really know. Hi. Uh, Oh, is your grandpa here? I'm trying to here? remember how to do this. No, your na your mommy's here. Hi. We're we're try Do you remember how to roll pretzels? Uh, I can't remember how to like do that. it. Like that? No, not like that. We're making pretzels, and we like, made a bean burrito. Don't we go like that? I don't. That's know. Yeah, actually that's good. Leave it like that. Like this? Yes. No, that's perfect. Not, that's yes, like it is. Leave knot. it like this. That's we're a gonna put it. Knot. Yeah, a pretzel knot. Perfect. Okay, okay you, let, you know what? Let's should just I, experiment. Remember, I said we were experimenting. I'm wait, making a I twist do, this should time. Should I do another one? Yeah, do another one. Would you like to make one? No? Twist. Pretzel twist. Keep going. And we're going to boil them, remember? Just yeah. for 30 seconds. And then we're going to bake them for like 12, 15 minutes. I want to know minutes. how to do like the, like the... I forgot. Like the... Yeah, but just do it closer. This is very fun with kids, huh? Like that, I guess? Yeah, perfect. Okay, put it on the paper. I'm gonna do a pretzel ring. Pretzel ring. <laughs> but what you do kind of want to do is have them all fairly the same size, I guess, when you're baking too. So. Wait, what'd you do? I'm gonna go ahead and boil pretzel some now. Ring? Yeah. I'm gonna boil a couple if you wanna see what I'm doing over here. Are you supposed to meet them at a specific time? Oh, well. Okay, we're gonna drop them in. And this is where your spider, just put it over here. This one looks better. This is where your, oh, pulling over. 
We're just gonna do three at a time, because otherwise we're gonna boil over. This spider thing is an essential for pretzels. Spider thing. So we're just doing it for a few minutes. Again, they're starting to float at the top. This is just gonna give them that pretzel flavor. Keep going, Maddie. Are you doing them? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. Could you roll this out like real thin? And do a thing? Yeah. Could do whatever. What oh this? look, she made a um, breast cancer symbol. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, here's why. Here's our blob. <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. I just know here's it. Here's our blob. <laughs> oh my god. They can come out better. We're just not being uh, perfect right now. You can take your time and. Highly yeah, you're right. Maybe I think your little pretzel one's gonna be very cute. Okay. And then after that, we are going to bake these. How long do we bake them? <laughs> that didn't yeah. happen. <laughs> 12 to 15 minutes. You two can make soft pretzels. There we go. That's perfect. It totally didn't. OK. So I'm just going to show okay, you no, when you get them out of true. the bath, the baking soda bath. You'll see how beautiful these are. And Maddie, if you want to, you can put some salt on them. Okay. <coughs> but before you do that, hold on. Got a little bit of egg here. Stir this up a little bit. I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's too small. <laughs> Bobby, this one's too small to okay, do don't anything. Don't use it then. The, all the rest of them are small. All right, well, I have an idea. Put two together. All right, now you can put you can put this on. Hold on. Scooch over. Here. Put some egg on it. These. The egg is gonna make it nice and beautiful and shiny. Ugh. Um, and yeah, you don't even have to dip it in again. Just go ahead and use it the same. Yeah. Um, and then it will also make the salt stick. So it will make them just the yolk, which of course you can use a whole egg. I just happen to have a yolk in my fridge. Don't ask me why. Can't remember what I used. Why? I think I was making egg whites. Okay. And then we have our handy dandy pretzel salt that I broke the lid on. <laughs> so, see, so I improvised. And then you can take a pinch of this. What do I do with this? I'll give you one guess. But <laughs> Let's throw it in the sink. Okay, then you can put some salt on. Go ahead. Oh, perfect timing. The oven is now preheated. And we will bake these for 12 to 15 minutes. And then we will have some delicious soft pretzels. Who wants soft pretzels? Oh, look, we have an audience. We have a big audience that wants them. <clears throat> OK, I'm going to boil the rest of these. Who wants to form one? Elle does. No? You want to? Hurry up. You only got one minute. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Wash your hands really quick. Oh wait, here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Elle is my other granddaughter, seven years old. Why am I stuck? Rinse them off really, really good, because you don't want soap in there either. Here you go. Okay. This was episode 18. 18? Come back for episode 19 to see them come out of the oven. Okay, come back for... Um, episode 19 and you will see our pretzels done. Go ahead, Elle. Start making. These are going in the oven and we're going to boil up some more. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.